Hi guys, Snake Dotter here. Welcome back to the lovely charity series that is Area 31. I'm joined, as always, by my lovely teammate, Boop, Jimmy Boop, Solidarity Boop, Gaming. Boop, Are you, you okay? Boobly bat. Are you playing your, your air guitar? <laughs> it could be an air guitar. If I you're, holding, it. you're holding it the wrong way. Yeah, but, um, if I hold it the wrong way. But I am, I am wonderful. How are you? Good, good. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Good. We've we've had we've had a lot of re we've had a lot of kind of uh, insider spy dealings by by Team Snake and by by the little heroes, haven't we, Jimmy? Yeah, we have. That is that is the new name, guys. That's if the you official are, name. If you're, you might be watching on Snake's channel because his gets uploaded earlier than mine, but. If you do want to hashtag and be a part of my team as well as Snakes, yeah. do hashtag Little Heroes. Yeah. Little well, that's just the name of your subs in general, isn't it? Yeah. You you're part of Team Snake in this series, but yes. your subs are called Little Heroes, and that's a cool little name. Heroes. I like I like the name. <coughs> Excuse me, a little cough. Um, we've had a donation, Jimmy. I think we both. I think a lot of us have had donations. I've had a donation by Jack um, XX Ninja's channel. Yeah, and I've I had did. some. I've had some leather, some raw beef, some wool, and, some, and, a, and a stone axe. So thank you very much to you. I your donation. The, I got the exact same. Awesome. So, yeah, okay. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I've got an exciting thing for us to do, Jimmy. <gasps> I, I, I was, I was busy. I was beavering away in between episodes. I set up a quarry. I got loads of diamonds and loads of ores and stuff. Yeah. Um, I did it off camera though, because I didn't want to show anyone where it was. Because I don't want people to find out the location dun, of, dun, dun, dun. Of, and see the location or whatever where our base might be. So yeah, I've done, I've done that kind of quite subtly and and, and without anyone knowing. Um, yeah. But I'm making a digital miner, and I've got everything made, Jimmy. Ooh. If you um. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to put all that this stuff into the crafting table now, and uh, into the crafting station. And you can what, see it took me what? it took me absolutely ages to get all this stuff. But we have a digital miner. Oh! oh. Um, if you if you follow me downstairs, if you okay. actually, yeah, if you follow me downstairs, I've, I've made this little room off of here. Okay. And oh. I've, I've, I've I've run power cables. We had tons of power cables. We had loads donated. So I've run power from our from our ME system. <laughs> Look at Not, this! I know it's brilliant, right? If you move out the way, be careful. Okay. Boom. That is huge. He's a big old machine. Wow. He's plugged in. I'm not sure if I have to move the power. I might have to move the power to the top because I think the chest kicks out of the back. But I might be right. I might be wrong. I'm not sure. But what I would like you to do, Jimmy, while I set this up, yeah. if you could, is could you make me a crystal chest? A crystal chest? Yeah. Let me, let me just look it up. Let me okay. look at this. Have a, have a quick this, look. This bad boy up. Okay, crystal chest. I'll Where show everyone you? what we have to do as well. There you are. So glass all around the outside, diamond yeah. chest in the middle. See, so yeah, and if you keep clicking through the middle, you'll see that to make a diamond chest, you need a two diamonds and a gold chest. Yep, and a then glass. an iron chest of gold wrapped around it. Oh. So it's a bit of work. It's a bit like making cogs. Yeah. You have to kind of do. It. But but we've got enough stuff. I've, we've definitely got enough stuff. Yeah, yeah. We should have. We're, we'll be fine. Because um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show. I'm going to show everyone how this digital miner works. Basically, if you've not seen one of these before, guys, um, a digital miner is like a quarry, but it doesn't have to move. It's a very clever system. So if, you, if I right click on the digital miner, um, I can I can I can configure this to do to do lots of things. I can make it a silk touch. So if I want to pick up redstone or or coal or the, the items that when you break them, a bit like diamonds as well. When you break them, they um, automatically turn into drops. Whereas like iron ore and things like that and gold and tin and copper, they don't they don't break into individual ingots. So a silk touch one would actually keep the ores whole. So if you wanted to get coal or redstone, you could do it that way. But um, I've got a way around that, which is better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on configure, and I'm going to keep the radius. I'm going to change the radius to 32, which is the widest radius you can do. I'm going to keep the minimum level, which is which is the lowest it will mine to, which is zero, which is bedrock. So that's perfect. And 60, um, I think is okay. We're we're a bit higher than 60, mm. so it won't get into our base. If you do it too high, if you went up to say 250, which is or 260, whatever the world height is, that would literally take every ore around you. And you'll, be, like, you'll have nothing left. You'll have no base left. <laughs> so we're going to keep 60. And then what you're supposed to do with this, Jimmy, is you're supposed to then go into it with your ores. So if you want to, put, if you want to, if you want, if you want the digital miner to collect gold, for example, yeah. you take you take a gold ore out of your chest and you'd put one into the into the digital miner, which would tell it that. Um, I love the way you're still using the old school crafting station, even though you can I'm, do it in the. I system. love it. I you're love old it. You're old school. You're old school, Jimmy, aren't you? I am. Um, yeah, and then uh, and then yeah, you can you can you can tell it that you want to dig up all the gold. But I've got a better way of doing it. And if you go into the, there's a thing called an ore uh, directory or dictionary. I think it's a directory. Um, oh go to the ore di directory or whatever it is. And I type in star or star and save that. It will then cycle through every ore in the game. So it will oh. find, it will dig up everything. Wow. Every ore in a 32 block radius in every direction from this digital miner. Uh, from pick, level, it, pick it all from, up. From level from level zero at bedrock, down to up to level sixty, 
That's amazing. It will take everything in 32 block directions in each direction from the centre of the digital miner. So there are thousands and thousands of ores. When it starts, it will tell us how many we've got. But what I want to do is I want to stick a, a chest on. And I want to see if that chest... What would be lovely, actually? We haven't got any ender chest, have we, still? Um... Because if we had the ender chest, we could actually even... No, we haven't. No. How do you make an ender chest? Let's have a quick look. Because it might even be better. a lot of obsidian. Well, we've got lots of it, haven't we? Um, um, we haven't got any glass, weirdly. Um, so, sand... We, got any, we haven't got any eyes of Ender, have we, I don't think. Eye of Ender. How do you make an eye of Ender? I've forgotten. Um, blaze powder and a, and uh, a Ender I'm pearl. To, I think I'm going to go out and get some sand. No, surely not. We've got no sand. We've got no, we've got no sand at all. No, we've got sandstone. Mm, we could two, possibly... two sand. I'm thinking if we could maybe do it where we could pump the... We could pump the... the put it into an ender chest and then have the ender chest connected to an RME system where it'll pump straight into the I might that might be something I do in between in between videos Jimmy I think we'll, we'll make the what so we, we need some sand do we yeah I'll tell you, tell you what to do then guys we'll pop out and get some sand and we'll be back in a second when we've got that so we'll see you in a second right there we go we are back we have sand, sand! we are sorted C could I have um, the sand please should we join me to shove it into the redstone furnace yes please and is you. there any coal in there no, wait, it goes but straight, It's a redstone it? oh. furnace. Yeah, redstone I have that, have, have that as well. One thing else, Jimmy, while we're waiting for that to do, if you want to come over here, okay. I actually, I was looking through the through our system, our ME system, and we had a load of mossy stone. Okay. Um, if, I can't remember exactly how you do it now, so I made one earlier and I can't remember how to do it now. I've forgotten. Do you, um, oh, I forgot how many, never look. I did make one and I've totally forgotten. This was a few days ago now. My brain doesn't work. Mossy, Brains. ball of mossy. Oh, that's right, yeah, it's just, it's, it's nine. It's nine, that's right. So, if we put, if I make nine... Into the into the uh, crafting table. Oh, that didn't. I'm sure that did work. Hang on. Do it again. Do it again, Snake. Do it again. There we go. There we go. Right. So I've now made two of these. Oh, what is that? I need to. I need to put some stuff in thingy. Oh, I, quit, say, quit, I don't have any room. That's okay. Quickly grab that. Put my power armor in there. Don't need that. Don't need that armor. Don't need that. Right. right what grab, is like, this? Grab that. Right. Now that is that is um, that is mossy. That's a moss ball. Ball of moss. Okay, right. So if you come over to the tool forge, okay, and you sling your hammer, or oh. I sling my hammer. If you put a ball of moss, one ball at the top of the in the like coffee bean slot. There you go. There you go. It now makes it auto repair. So if you do the same with your one, I need to find mine. <laughs> oh, it's in. I think it's in here, Jimmy. I think it's. In, I don't know if you ever took it out. I think it's in this chest. I think there it is. It's yeah. because the atomic disassembler. Yeah, I know, but I just wanted. I know I've been saying about this from the start, and I never did it, so I wanted, I wanted to do it. So if you stick your one in there and then put it at the top, and you'll see it makes oh, the. Oh, look at so that! Has it, has, it, has it got any damage? Has it been used already, your one? No, no. It hasn't been used. Well, mine has been used, and mine is now very slowly creeping up its repair. Is it? So if as we log out of a server, it will automatically repair itself and be ready to go next time. That is and, so cool. And I would like to make some cool close quarter weapons. So if we do get stuck in a proper close quarter battle with yeah. any of the guys, we are ready. We've got to be mean? ready. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's something to do. So how are we going on the... Uh... Right, um, I'm going to be done. Gonna okay, be let's done. quickly shove this in then. And we'll see if we can start this thing, this ball rolling. So what I was thinking was, if we get the, if the, if the crystal chest starts filling up, which it, it will do eventually, obviously, because we're, we're mining a lot of ores. Um, have you got these other, you've done the, you've done the crystal chest, have you? Where are you? I'm, I'm behind you. Oh, yeah. Right, so if you, if you try and put that crystal chest on top, on that black square... Okay, give me a sec. Let me see if you can plonk it on top. I'll just oh. jump. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, wait, wait! Oh my gosh! You have to shift. You have to shift click when you do it or something. Yeah, it's just I'm getting flung around everywhere. Right, here we go. Come on. Shift click. Oh, oh gosh! No. Right, let me try. Let me just try. I just want to stand on it, but it, oh gosh! If it doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll get um I'll get a block. And we'll just we'll just stick something against it. Let's get some cobble or something. Yeah, get some cobble. Come on, I've got, got some in my inventory. Could I use that? That's silly. Right, never mind. Um, cobblestone. Right, let me try this. And we might have to just plonk it down. Um, oh, hello. Uh, where are we? There, there. Try it. Try that. Place it next to that. Yeah. Now this may or may not work. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Right. So if I right click on this. I can click on I can click on auto eject, which I need to do because it okay. needs to pop it out. Okay. Config the config is now. If you if you right click on it, Jimmy, you'll see. So you can show your viewers. If you right click on it. Yeah. Can you click on config? Config. So you, I've got I've got radius of thirty two. 
It's starting the mining at zero, and it's going to come up to 60, or it's going to start at 60 and go down to zero, whichever way. Yeah. But I've got in the in the ore directory, I've put in star, ore, star, and it then, as you can see, it's cycling through every ore that yeah. we have in this mod pack. Everything. Wow. So there will be an awful lot of stuff. Wow. Um, so if I then go back and I click on start, there Hello is 12, there. there's 12,000. If you right-click again, there's 12,000 ores. Look at that. Yeah, but as you can see, this isn't ejecting into this chest, so we may need to um, we may need to stop this when it when it fills up. We may need to stop it. Oh wow! Why is it because not doing that? I, I think I think I think it's because of this power. Let me just quickly reroute the power and see if we can. Has it stopped now? It should have stopped. Is it going to stop? Um, should have done because there's no power in it, so it should have stopped. No, still going. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Break. Let's break, break that chest off. Let me grab that quickly. Right, let me try putting that chest on the back quickly. Let's see if that... There we go. There we go. Look in the chest now. Look in that chest, Jimmy. Is it doing it? Yes. Look, you can see right through it. I know. Well. That, that's what's really good. I like I like those chests. Right, if I try that, uh, hopefully... i got a cable here if you need it. That's right. We've got enough. There we go. Right, so I'm hoping Please. that is still getting powered. Yeah. Is it still is it still going? Let's see. Let's check it, on the back. Yep, yeah, it's still going. It's still powering. There is still power. The power's not dropping. It's yeah, that's lot, good. It's getting a lot of um, sulfur. Yeah, we can always take out stuff that we don't need. But that's a big chest, you see, and obviously you can do stacks and stacks. So yeah, wow. So yeah, we can, we can go through now. Now what I'm hoping is that we'll have enough stuff in here. And as we what we can do is we as we log on, we can just let you take a an inventory full and whack it um, yeah. and whack it in here. Or what we can all the other alternative, of course, is to set up two ender chests, which we can do. So I think we have got some um, blaze rods. We have got a couple of blaze rods and yeah. some blaze powder. So we could make a couple of ender chests. We could one ender chest instead of, at, at the back of that instead of that diamond uh, crystal one. Yeah. Another one above this ME system and have it piping straight out of one ender chest into the other ender chest and then straight into the ME interface and that would all go inside our inside our system. But we will need to make ourselves some more ME drives, some big ME drives because yeah. we are going to run out of space. We're running out, aren't we? Yeah, we'll run out of space quite quickly. But yeah, let's, let's, have a, let's, let's go and have a quick look at what this is doing. Because what I want to do is, is I want to start making some really fancy stuff. Yeah. Stuff to protect our base because Tysa, before we know it, will be... You know, yeah. he'll be on top of us. Yeah, it's made. It's already got two stacks of sil to sulfur. It's taken the redstone, which is perfect, you see, because obviously, if we just told it we wanted redstone ore, it wouldn't work. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's really good. Oh, so, awesome. Wow. That's good. It's got some gold. It's all happening. Good stuff. So, yeah, progress. Progress is being made. So, we, we need to start protecting our base. We need to start getting maybe a force field and some some fancy stuff. But we'll yeah. do that in the uh, next episode, which will be in a couple of days on my channel and a few days after Jimmy's one on his channel. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to Jimmy if you haven't already because mm -mm. Jimmy and I, we're both on a mission here. We are, we're helping each other and, you know, it's a good thing. So Team Snake and the little heroes can become a big force. Yes. A big force. So guys, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to, to uh, donate to, the, to, the, uh, to the, the series as well, which is on the website, which is a31.me. Subscribe to your favourite YouTube, whether it's me, whether it's Jimmy, whether it's Tice or any, anyone else. It doesn't matter because all the money goes to, to charity. Yes. Um, so, yeah, cool. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.